find unit vectors that are parallel to the diagonals of a parallelogram whose adjacent sides are represented by the vectors a and b. Let us begin. We'll try to understand the problem graphically first. Now let's consider a parallelogram. So here we say we have a parallelogram with vertices O, A, C, B. Now let's consider the adjacent side O, A and O, B. We're going to represent the side O, A with the vector A and O, B, the adjacent to O, A with the vector B. Now if we join point O and point C, we're going to get the diagonal O, C. Similarly, joining A and B gives us the diagonal A, B. Now since O, A, C, B is a parallelogram, now, the side AC is going to be parallel and equal to OB, which means that AC vector is also going to be the vector B. And then we have a PC vector going from B to C since it's parallel to OA. So, BC vector is going to be the vector A as well. Now, if we use the parallelogram law or if we use the triangular law of vector addition, then in triangle OAC, o a vector added to a c vector that's going to give us the diagonal o c vector which is simply a plus b next we need to find out a b vector so let's say we define the vector a b now a b vector is going to be simply o b vector minus o a vector which means we have b vector minus a vector so what we have to do we have to find out a unit vector which is parallel to a vector plus b vector and another unit vector which is in the direction of b vector minus a vector or in other or we can say parallel to b vector minus a vector okay let us begin uh, a vector plus b vector and a vector and b vector minus a vector are going to be the two diagonals of the parallelogram now it's given in the problem that a vector is represented by i cap plus g cap minus k cap and b vector is represented by negative 2 i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap so using these two vectors a and b let's try to find out the diagonal o c the now o c vector which is defined by adding a vector with a b vector so we're going to get so we have i cap added to negative 2 i cap so that's negative i cap g cap added to g cap gives us positive 2 g cap then negative k cap added to positive 2 k cap will be simply positive k cap and we will also find out the vector a b the so a b vector which is the diagonal of the parallelogram is defined by v vector minus a vector so we have to do b minus a so we have negative 2 i cap minus i cap so that's going to give us negative 3 i cap then we have g cap minus j cap that's going to be zero and then we have 2i cap minus negative k cap that means we're going to get positive 3k cap okay now that we have obtained the diagonals of the two pair of the parallelogram we're going to find out the unit vector first in the direction of oc vector so here all we have to do is take the vector a vector plus b vector and divide it by its or magnitude that means magnitude of vector a plus b now a vector plus b vector we already obtained that's negative i cap plus 2 g cap plus k cap and we're going to divide it by its magnitude that means magnitude of negative i cap plus 2 g cap plus k cap this is going to be equals to negative i cap plus 2 g cap plus k cap to find out the magnitude all we have to do is take the square root underneath the square root we have to uh, find the sum of square so we'll start with the coefficient of i cap so that's negative 1 we're going to square this value, add it to square of the coefficient of j cap, so that's 2 squared, add it to square of the coefficient of k cap, so that's 1 squared. And this is going to give us, uh, we have negative i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap, divided by square root of, so we have 2 squared, that's 4, 4 plus 1, that's 5, 5 plus 1, that's going to be 6. So we have uh, negative i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap, divided by square root of, six and this is going to be the unit vector in the direction of the diagonal oc vector okay let's find out the unit vector in the direction of a b vector so this is going to be given by b vector minus a vector divided by the magnitude of b vector minus a vector so let's use the value of b vector minus a vector we open to obtain that value that's negative 3 i cap plus 3 k cap negative 3 i cap plus 3 k cap 
whole divided by the magnitude of negative 3 i cap plus 3 k cap okay so we have negative 3 i cap added to 3 k cap whole divided by to find out the magnitude we'll take the square root and under the square root we have sum of two squares so we have negative 3 squared added to positive 3 squared so that will be equals to negative 3 i cap plus 3 k cap whole divided by we have two times uh, three times square root of two right now our further simplification is going to give us negative one over square root of two i cap added to one over square root of two j cap so this is going to be the unit vector in the direction of the other second para second diagonal of the parallelogram which is a b vector